Sure. Okay, deep breath, it's alright. You're not gonna get hurt. Maybe not. You ready? As my peers Sasha and Queenie explained earlier, GMOs have been engineered to reduce pesticides, which is healthier for humans and animals to consume, and GMOs have been engineered to grow in places with less resources. Queenie explained, GMO crops use less chemicals, machinery, and land, which can re reduce pollution. GMOs have also been specially engineered to, pr to provide vaccines that can cure diseases. The opposition claims that genetically modified crops can harm the environment. However, according to the respected journal of Corn and Soybean Digest, crop, bi crop biotechnology has reduced pesticide spraying by 503 million kilograms. As a result, this has decreased the environmental impact associated with herbicides and insecticides on the area planted by biotech crops. Corn and Soybean Digest proves that although GMOs could affect the environment in negative ways, GMOs still help the environment by reducing insecticide. Another source called Ballot, Business of Innovation, claims that contrary, contrary to some, what some believe, GMO crops actually allow farmers to use less and less toxic pesticides um, on their fields. Also, in that passage, a German meta-study claimed, on average, genetically modified technology adoption has reduced chemical pesticide by, 30%, by 37%, increased crop yields by 22% and increased farmer profits by 68%. In other words, pesticide use goes down, crop, yield, crop yields increase, which gives more profit to farmers, all because of GMOs. GMOs may not help the environment entirely, but you cannot overshadow the fact that GMOs still reduce pesticides bit by bit, bit by bit, which does help the environment. Another idea the opposition claims is that herbicide use is going up. According to Huffy Huffington Post Green, over 99% of GMO acreage is engineered by chemical companies to tolerate heavy herbicide use. Herbicides are obviously used, but this article shows that herbicides don't use the crop that's being produced. Another example is a paper by Michael Owen about the uses of herbicides on genetically modified corn and soybean. He claims that it is a fact that corn and soybean are, are herbicide resistant, along with other crops produced by the U.S concluding that all crop, that most GM crops are designed to be herbicide resistant. All in all, GMOs have reduced pesticides, which helps the environment and insecticides. In addition to the use of herbicides, has not proven to be harmful to, the, to genetically modified crops as they are engineered to be herbicide resistant. Clearly, GMOs are effective in their purpose. Mm -hmm.